So let's jump to the next one. Um, problem number two, dishes. No matter what your quarantine experience is right now, whether you're just cohabitating with your nuclear family, or if you have extended family living with you, or just roommates, getting those dishes just right can be questionable from one person to the next. And one of our sales engineers, who's going to remain anonymous for this one, just so they don't get into trouble, uh, there were some discrepancies on if the dishes were being done very well, and someone blamed the fixture on not applying good pressure to the sensor. So they took the, our pressure mapping technology, and you can see in the uh, video image there, what they did was they actually wrapped our sensor in our electronics in a safety bag to keep the water away because uh, those components don't have a submersion rating. Um, but you can still get some great data through the bag while keeping the water away. And uh, we'll get the video started here. So what you can see is they took the faucet and they'll uh, point it very close to the sensor and change it into that spray mode that a lot of time that's great for getting the, the gunk off of it. And you can see we're getting a nice dynamic image of what that spray pattern looks like across the center, the sensor. And so what we can do is after we've collected that data, um, we'll be able to do an analysis of what all the points are. So what they're showing right now, this is what's peak mode. So this is exactly the highest pressures that the surface ex experienced from that spray, spray pattern throughout the duration of that spray test. Uh, and it gives you an idea of what kind of work uh, this is actually doing. Now, uh, with these electronics, we're using uh, our Versatech electronics, which have a higher scan rate. Those can go up to 20 kilohertz. I think in this application, uh, the scan rate was around five kilohertz. Um, so we could get pretty good detail of what those water droplets were doing to the sensor surface. Now, in the next video, which is uh, just a little more analysis of what we did, we can look at that peak pattern but they can also go back to the graph and you can see as it's advancing through the graph, we can see what that spray pattern looks like. So uh, because this one's a little uh, not as professional as you might be doing in an industrial application, you know, you can see the nozzles moving around a little bit. So that's what's uh, changing what that spray pattern looks like. Now, um, this is definitely going to be used a lot in uh, spray pattern evaluation. So we if you're a manufacturer of faucets, uh, shower head fixtures, um, pressure cleaners, you're very interested on how that water is coming through the nozzle and what that's doing to the surface. Um, also, food and packaging applications where you need to be doing uh, doing a proper wash down of your equipment, especially in the food and beverage industry. So, understanding the performance of your nozzle can be extremely important. Uh, we've also looked at uh, long-term testing. Um, multi-cycle impacts. Uh, so there's a variety of applications out there where you can look at uh, what these constant pressures are looking like on a surface and seeing what the impact is uh, on what's uh, receiving the force. 